Barley is one of the world's foremost important types of grain, along with wheat, corn, and rice. Today, about 150 million tons of barley are harvested and used to feed animals, produce food, and brew beer. The types of barley found in Central Europe have undergone a breeding process that has adapted them to local conditions like climate and soil fertility. Their yields have been optimized as a result. But the focus on yields also has a downside. Only a limited gene pool is used, and genetic diversity is slowly declining. Klaus Oldach, a KWS employee who works in the area of pre-breeding, is well aware of the consequences of this process. Genetic diversity is very important to our crops to respond to changing environments. Particularly in the face of climate change, it becomes even more important because extreme weather conditions like long-lasting heat or drought are challenges to our plants that need additional adaptation. Pathogens are another problem. As a rule, barley is quite resistant to disease, but it's also feeling the effects of climate change. Viral diseases pose a particular challenge. Ramillaria leaf spot has also been increasingly found on winter and summer barley in recent years. An infection with this fungus and its spread are facilitated by sunny, dry weather in the spring. The sooner the infection begins, the greater the yield losses. The increasing occurrence of drought has prompted breeders like Klaus Oldach to study the disease more closely. Until now, no reliable resistance source to Rhombolaria has been identified. But resistance such as to Rhombolaria are becoming more important due to the decline of use of chemical agents. That's why in pre-breeding we are searching for these efficient resistances to integrate them into breeding programs. As a way of breeding robust types of barley for the future, Klaus Oldach is crossing KWS's own breeding material with new exotic material. Gene banks are an important source for this work. The German Federal ex situ Gene Bank for Agricultural and Horticultural Crop Species of the Leibniz Institute of Plant Genetics and Crop Plant Research in Gattersleben, Germany, is one of the world's largest such facilities. The IPK's Gene Bank comprises wild forms, modern types, and local species that have adapted to various geographic and climate zones around the world. Pre-breeding enables resistance and yield characteristics of the breeding material to be adapted to changing environmental conditions. The genetic resources from the gene bank have the traits and characteristics that breeders like Klaus Oldach want for their breeds. We cross land rises and wild barley with our breeding material to introduce tolerance and resistance to abiotic stress and to diseases, and of course to increase yield. And this way, barley gets on a regular basis a genetic rejuvenation. Pre-breeding can add such desired traits as resistance to the breeding material within a period of just a few years. It plays a key role in the effort to develop new high-yield breeds. And the work can be done much faster and more systematically than would be possible without pre-breeding. The breeding progress achieved in this work will ultimately help farmers who need types of barley that can overcome climate change and its consequences. <laughs>